Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition, aka the Silent Peaks game, aka the Twin Hill game. So, um, there's a there's a shiny red marker here. That I'm running towards. Which I'm guessing is where I'm supposed to go. Let's see how long York can run before he passes out. Because this is the adventure of Francis, Special Agent Francis York Morgan and his imaginary friend Zack. Alright. Over the bridge we go. Oh, oh, oh. Something happened. Hello. Now you were very late. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Yeah, I was busy, um... FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. <laughs> you goofball. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? No, good, just York. Good. Well, close enough. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. George, Sheriff George. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? <laughs> um, My car broke down, uh, that's all. Yeah, it broke down when he ran off the road and hit a couple of trees. And almost hit a... Um, Axe murderer in a red raincoat. What the hell is going on here? She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth it. You're a trip talking to the out loud, world. York. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Um, um. Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. <laughs> looked like he was going for a high George. five there. Hi. Hi, George. FBI nice Special mustache. Agent Francis York Morgan. He's shoving his badge Please, up in everybody's just grill. Call me York. That's what <laughs> everyone calls me. Y'all kind of have matching scars. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? It's in the script. Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking um, for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both are That is some Twin Peaks esque other. music there. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. You imbeciles. I lose of her brand your foreheads one, with an apostrophe and in Hades. Peace and order. You can have your profiling sample. But I need you to understand that. Okay. <clears throat> of course. Of course. Rude. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? <laughs> oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Okie dokie. <laughs> Do you need anything else? Yeah, I feel you, Emily. I do. Thanks. That'll be all. Well, the cats are having an argument over there. I'll rest up day. first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. Oh! And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. Oh, no, you didn't. You don't have to be a tree worshipper to appreciate the wildlife here. But it helps. <laughs> this is Let's so reassess cheesy. the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. <laughs> hey, hey, watch out. What? Ow, ow, ow. Um, that was my face. Oh, that's the end of 
the chapter. Cool. Total number of days, one. Total enemy is pin. Total is one. Okay. Woohoo! Damn, I'm good, I guess. No, not really. 200 bucks. Basic wage, I'm paid salary, funds total amount. Okay. So I got a, I got a nice little chunk of change on me. Oh, yay! An achievement. Prologue cleared. Huh. <sighs> so I have, um, managed to insulate Previous myself from spoilers for this game. Are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. But, um, I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Yeah, I basically have known nothing about this game. I knew it was something creepy. You feel it, Zach? But he, I did not know about the campiness. Um, and now, of course, now that I'm playing the game, now I'm paying attention to the stuff that shows up on Tumblr. It's broken. And yeah, there's some I've just absolutely goofacular crap showing up under the Why deadly premonition tag. I'm not going out actively this looking for it. Important to you, right? But it just kind of shows up once in a while. It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I watch so much I SpongeBob used to on watch it. Watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies. Everyone likes movies. What the hell's wrong did. with you, kid? Everyone loves movies, movies, right? I just said. I love movies too. I've never been to a movie theater though. Oh, back to the um, totally not black lodge. Okay. Oh, we got a card here, Angel Isaac. Uh huh. Okay, let me um. Just, uh, can I? Oh, oh wrong key. <laughs> Let's take a look at that there. Card. Okay, there he is. Isaac is an angel. He sits in the red room, a very strange set of twins. Okay. Your face is a strange set of twins. How about that? Uh, looks like one of the dummies has uh, fallen over, sort of. Oh, there's something new here. Mmm, sugar donut. Yes, I would like a donut. Mmm. Oh, and coffee. Some damn good coffee. Okay. There's nothing there. Uh, the TV? Where's the TV? The TV's gone. Where's the TV? Okay, is that where I'm supposed to go? I guess. We'll go that way. Why not? So yeah, this is the Black Lodge's roomier, outdoorsier annex. Oh god, there's... Oh, okay. I thought that. I thought I had a choice. <laughs> I was overwhelmed. Your. Yeah. Your. Now, oh, good. Another creepy kid. Don't tell me that's Zach. Don't even tell me. Um, what the hell? Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Are you serious? Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. You, that, you don't have to do that to, to hold your breath, but, um, left control. Oh, crap. There we go. I'm just gonna sneak past this guy. Oh my god. Now how long? <gasps> god. Okay, just move, move, move. No, don't stand there staring at him. Just go, 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 go. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, anytime. We're gonna pass out. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. My god. Okay, can I let go now? Okay. Who are you? Uh, kid? Kid? Okay. Mmm, pickles. The pickles. <laughs> nice. Possibly from the same supplier as Metal Gear's The Orange. Nice PJs. That is a nice bed. I want that bed. Okay. Rise and shine! Zack, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves, mm -hmm. a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Uh huh. Possibly in the mirror? No, that's that's uh, wild speculation there. Well, that'll probably come back to me eventually. I'm sure. For now, we need coffee. <laughs> yes, I feel you, York. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. Yeah. I hope they that. have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Some damn then good coffee. Then we can coffee. head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure yes, for everything. Yes, of course there right, is. Zach? Suitcase? What's in my suitcase? Oh? Oh? I've got suits. That's nice. Of course, suits in the suitcase. <laughs> Anything good on TV? Nothing really interesting to me. Okay. I'll turn it off. No sense in wasting electricity. There's just so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I love this. What have we here? Oh, save point. Cool. Yes, I'd like to save. Yes. Uh typewriter. What else we got here? Fireplace. Man, this is nice. And most definitely see the Twin Peaks influence up in here. Okay. Oops. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, bathroom. Kitchen. Oh, hey. Look at this. I got a kitchenette. There's what is this? Little stuff over here. Okay, I, that's not the door I want, I don't think. Oh, no. Hey, 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 we got a map. A simple guide to Greenville. Mmm, turkey. Milk barn, convenience store with rock and roll music. Enjoy your evenings at Galaxy of Terror and Sweary 65. Too many drinks? Drop by the Greenville General Hospital. Or, you know, just go sleep it off. I guess that's the, the door of the room. What is this? Ah, bathroom. Shave? I can shave? Hm, not bad. Can I seriously? I seriously. I can. Well, look at all these bottles and stuff. This is not hotel shampoos. This is extra. I got paid for shaving. Alright then. 
What's in here? Damn! This bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment! Can't use the toilet. What's in here? Shower? I, look, at, look how high the ceiling is. This is ridiculous. Open the closet? No. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll go this way. Uh, no, that's that's sneaky. So that's hold okay, so I can still hold my breath. I can hold my breath a long, long time. What's going on here? Payphones, okay. Actually, I don't really need to save right this second. I just save. Oh, hey! Vending machines, nice. What do we got here? Lollipops and crackers. Meh. Yuck. Wait, 35 bucks for a pack of crackers? Are you serious? 24 bucks for a lollipop? No, I don't want to buy anything else. Let's see. Let's see how much the drinks are. Holy shit, son! Thirteen fifty for a coffee? Starbucks isn't even that bad. Damn! For thirteen bucks, that coffee better jump up and make dinner for me. Rub my feet with scented oils. Oh, hey. Look at that spread. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Ooh, that, that whole thing is my breakfast. Uh, can you... Okay. What a Thank sweet you, lady. Mrs. Polly Oxford. Mrs. Just Polly is fine. Aww. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. <laughs> Okay. Um, Is everything that's a all right, hell Mr. of a Morgan? table. Yes, it's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Uh, wow. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. That little old lady. What's that? Is taking care of this whole huge the ass in that place. White shaker there. Thank uh. you. <laughs> oh my god. I was god. wondering if there were any other guests or workers <laughs> Why here. Don't you sit closer oh, no, to her. No one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've oh. been working here alone since then. <laughs> Must be hard by yourself. Oh my. We're all out of pepper. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. <laughs> well, yes, I suppose. <laughs> I could just live on my pension. Oh, but I have God, to admit, this running game. a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. Okay. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit I a little closer. I just fucking said. Oh, my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. Think no, no, do, no, you. Polly, and honey. I still love my departed he just wanted God to, rest to his soul. move. I appreciate the okay. invitation, but I'm fine over here. All right, Polly, then. I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. You can't hear shit it's either. Good to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use oh of this space. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. Just now, just... tell me that wound on your oh, face. Oh, he's been dying to explain. Let's just this. say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> oh my! Well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. Oh. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once wow. stayed in the same room, you know. Really? 
I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. A hearing I'll help aid. I'll out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the yes. tongue? Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Anything else you'd like to know about? Coffee? Um. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. Um. F. K. <laughs> in the coffee. Fuck in the I coffee? I knew I could count on it. Never fails. No. No. <laughs> what the entire hell, dude? Uh, F. K. in the coffee. Alrighty. Okay. Yay. Uh, get me a shiny. Alright, Polly has gone off to do whatever it is that Polly does. Wow, look at all of this. Let's just check this spread out, shall we? Good lord. What have we here? Coffee. So, <laughs> your coleo here. Lucky item, lighter. Okay. There's always trouble heading my way in this job. Yeah, that's that's the thing. But I'm always up for a little excitement, too. Okay. Um, how, how, how much coffee are you going to drink? I guess until I uh, tell him to stop, huh? Lucky place, theme park. There's no theme park in this town, though. Oh. All that good luck is just slipping away. But I think I'll have a thrilling enough time right here anyway. <laughs> okay, no, I'm I'm not gonna have any more coffee. Extra for fortune telling. Oh, wrong key. There we go. Open. Run, 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 run. Hi, Polly. Oh, hi. Okay. Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. This is a pretty damn fancy hotel. Let's see. What can we get? Great Deer Yard Hotel. Coffee. Sixteen fifty stabilizer cigarettes my pop crackers donuts twenty bucks for a donut twenty two fifty for some cheese a hundred dollar worm hundred and twenty five bucks for a fishing rod Jesus Malone <coughs> No, I don't want to buy anything here, I was all excited because I had 900 and some oh. odd bucks. Hi. Okay, let's talk. Can we not? Okay, I guess not. Okay. Open the door. Yay. Okay. 200 bucks. Woohoo! Yes, I would like to save. And actually, at this point, I am going to go ahead and take a break. And I will see you next time, folks. Well, actually, hang on. Let's go ahead and uh, get past whatever it is that we're going to get past here. Then we'll take a break. Ah, this relaxing music. Hey, Sheriff. Police car. Oh. 
Are they trusting me with a police car? Office open. They're trusting me with a police car. Oh, snap. So, we have King George to thank for preparing a car oh, for me. Oh, my God. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? I see no way this could go wrong. Let's take it for a spin. No way at all. Put your seatbelt on. Put, put, put your seatbelt on, York. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Huh. Values. Yeah. Stealing a police car... This town has what the country needs. ...is kind of not smart. Values. Granted, there Let's are people who the would department. do that. There are people who steal art cars. Art cars, of all things. No, they're not going to take some plain little Honda sitting in the parking lot. No, that's like, no, let's steal the one with eyeballs glued all over it. Nobody will notice that. <sighs> anyway. Got Master Key. Okay. A flare. Okay. Now, at this point, I am going to take a break, and I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.